you know, it, it is obviously this is a, it's a huge job for one person to primarily be doing sort of on their own. Um, and you've kind of already talked a little bit about this, but would you say it was the scope of the most challenging aspect of, of this project? Or was there something else that you would say, like, that was the, the biggest hurdle to overcome? No, I think it's the scope. There's, uh, there's so many modules to the game, uh, ranging from stuff like quite well known to civilization players, like the, the technology tree, uh, but there's the logistics, there's the, um, the economy system, uh, there's the rather detailed military uh, systems. Uh, but even there, like it, you have all the, you know, all the all the, 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 the rules war gamers know well, like entrenchment, concentric attacks, uh, stacking rules, blah 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 blah. But on top of that, I also added, for example, that you could design uh, and develop uh, your own models of equipment. So you, you don't have like a generic light tank, for example. You create your own model. Maybe it's called the the Spider Blitzer. Uh, and then after you develop the Spider Blitzer tank, which has its unique statistics, you can choose, for example, to upgrade it to the Spider Blitzer 2. And that's just... You know, it's 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 it was a, it's a good idea, but I've had many good ideas to make the world more interesting, and there were so many ideas that it, it became, uh, well, it became really a lot of work. Uh, but in the end, I think it's uh, I'm I'm quite happy with the result. <laughs>